There are a lot of sightings of UFOs and alien encounters in Brazil. It's a huge hotspot. And a case that I wanted to cover for a while now happened in 2008. And over the years, there has been more information released to the public. This mass UFO sighting all started on November 19, 2008 at around 10 p.m. when the streetlights went out in the city for some reason. And during this blackout, many people reported seeing strange crafts in the sky. One woman told a journalist that she saw a large craft followed by two other smaller crafts. She had never seen anything like it before. And there were many others who reported seeing the exact same thing, so the police were called. And while the police were driving to this location, they saw one of these UFOs and they were shocked. They stated that this craft was rectangular, about the size of a minibus, and it was emitting a very bright light from an opening at the bottom of the craft. And they tried their best to follow it, but they lost it when it flew over a hill. Then the next night, two other officers were driving through a back road when they claimed they saw three glowing alien beings gliding through the reeds. They stated that these aliens were about three feet tall, had large oval heads, and it appeared to them that they were gliding and also glowing. Now since there were so many eyewitnesses that either saw these aliens or UFOs, the locals called this an invasion. And some even claimed that these alien beings were able to control their thoughts. There were also reports of people experiencing missing time and electrical problems, mainly with their cars. One eyewitness claimed that after he took photos of one of these UFOs, he was visited by military personnel and they took the photos, then they told him that what he and everybody else saw was artificial gas burning. Now of course he didn't believe them and thankfully he copied the photos and didn't tell them about the copies. Now every eyewitness that saw these UFOs basically said the exact same thing. That it was about the size of a minibus, it made no noise, and at times, a very bright light was coming from the bottom of the craft. Now what makes this case stand out is not just the sightings of these UFOs, but the sightings of these glowing, gliding alien beings, making this another amazing case. And I hope we get some more updates soon. Another famous case in Brazil that got a lot of press happened in 1997 when three sisters were walking through the streets in their hometown when they encountered a strange looking being leaning up against a wall. This being appeared to be very confused and disorientated. The sister stated that this being was about 5 feet tall, very thin, had brown skin, large red eyes, with a huge head that was wobbling on its tiny shoulders. And these sisters, well, they were terrified, they couldn't believe what they were looking at. So they ran all the way home to tell their mom, and they told her that they saw the devil. Now of course the mother didn't believe them, but she was curious so she followed them to the area where they saw this creature. But when they arrived, it wasn't there. But the mother did notice a very strange smell, like ammonia. Now this sighting spread throughout the town, and others claimed to have seen it too, and some believed that there was more than one of them. Then about a day or so later it was reported that one of these aliens, or whatever this was, was found dead on the side of the road and the military showed up in a matter of minutes and took the creature away, making some suspect that the military was already in this town looking for these creatures. Now there were also many reports of flying saucers before and after these sightings, and it was believed that a UFO had crashed, and the aliens inside escaped with their lives, but they were very badly injured. One sighting comes from several eyewitnesses who claimed that they saw a flying saucer just hovering over a farm for about 40 minutes, and this made the animals just go nuts. And the media went crazy with this story. Even the Wall Street Journal wrote an article about it. But of course the military denied this, and even some investigators stated that there was no proof to any of these claims because they couldn't find one single eyewitness. But the locals, they weren't buying it. They truly believed that the government was doing everything in their power to cover this up. And people to this very day are still talking about this case. One of the most famous alien encounters in Brazil happened in 1979 when a security guard, Antonio, claimed that he was abducted by three humanoid figures while he was working the night shift. Antonio stated that while he was working, he was approached by three aliens who tranquilized him with a strange looking gun. And although he was sedated, he still recalled being taken to a small craft that ferried him to a much larger craft. And once aboard the ship, he was taken to a room that had a large television-like device and he was shown a variety of images. Then they forced him to mate with a female alien. Then he was tranquilized again and returned to the location where he was taken. Now Antonio stated that these beings were short, 
only about three and a half to four feet tall. They had pointy ears, no eyebrows or eyelashes, but they did have hair. Which is odd, as usually in alleged encounters with humanoid aliens, they don't have any hair. Making some suspect that these beings, if this story is true, were half-breeds. Half-human, half-alien. Then in 1982, Antonio was abducted again, and he saw this alien woman. Then he saw a child next to this alien woman, and he believed that this was his kid. Now Antonio stated that from 1979 to 1989, he was visited 16 more times. And every single time he was abducted, he saw what he believed to be his child. Now these are some pretty crazy claims, but there are a heck of a lot of people out there with very similar stories, and I'll probably cover those in a later video. Another pretty shocking case, and the first documented UFO sighting in Brazil, happened in July of 1947 when a group of workers heard a very loud sound coming from the sky. Then they saw a strange craft land nearby, and all these workers except one ran away in fear. And this low man claimed that three humanoid figures came out of this UFO and they spoke to him in an unknown language. But yet this man could somehow understand them and they talked for a while. Then they returned back to their craft and flew away. And this sighting got very famous because this was at a time when UFO sightings were very rare and also because there were so many people who claimed to have seen this UFO. Now Brazil and all of South America is a huge hotspot. There's so many UFO sightings and alien encounters here. It's kind of mind-blowing. And a lot of people believe that even some of the ancient structures in South America were built by aliens. And it makes me wonder why. Why are aliens so drawn to this location? Until next time, this is Paranormal Junkie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.